Hello, welcome back to my mental health and crime channel. My name is Hoodie London. Please like, share and subscribe. I'm a cognitive behavior therapist, CBT therapist and a licensed mental health counselor. Today I'd like to go back to discuss the case or summarize the case of five-year-old Summer Wells, Summer Moon Uta Wells. She was reported missing from Rogersville, Hawkins County, Tennessee, Tennessee, the state of Tennessee, 6.30 local Tennessee time. Candice Wells called, Candice Bly Wells called law enforcement and she reported some are missing. An endangerment alert was immediately put out. There was a helicopter search and law enforcement searched thoroughly. Uh, David Dodson from the church and Robin Lane were called by Candace. David Dodson came and he said that in his interview, he said that uh, Candace showed him pictures of some of the boys and her. She said they went swimming that day, which is obviously allegedly a lie. We've heard the other version that Summer, her mother, her grandmother and Hunter, the 15-year-old boy, all went to uh, take the grandmother to the emergency unit because she had a knee bracelet on and she had a knee inflammation. She got an injection, I believe it's a steroid injection for her knee. And she was prescribed some medications, some painkillers. We do not know what painkillers that was. They went by to a drive through They put in the prescription and it was a hot summer, hot summer day. So Candace decided to take Summer Hunter and allegedly her mother, Candy Hero, to the swimming hole. They went swimming a bit. We saw the TikTok pictures of Hunter splashing water at summer and candy said that she told him to stop splashing water we don't know if something could have happened in the swimming hole itself um she said she picked up uh hunter at 10 30. uh hunter said he's not good in timings so did candace she's not good in timings either dawn is never good in timings like we are aware of, there's a timing, timeline issue with all these people because obviously it's all false timelines, allegedly. Uh, there's a big gap in the timeline, at least a three and a half hour gap. When Candace dropped off Hunter from 3.30, 2.30 to 6.30, we do not know what stops they made and where they have been. With all the stops they made, we have seen that there was not even a stop that they bought a sandwich or even bought food for Summer and Hunter. So these people were drinking and vaping and smoking on an empty stomach. We have an impulsive ADHD boy here. So this could have led into different, different situations. Hunter said he was left alone with Summer in the car. He believes an almost an hour, but according to uh, Candice, she said it was just five, 10 minutes, which is all rubbish, I believe, because it takes at least five to 10 minutes. And especially the mother, grandmother had a, a knee bracelet on, so it does take time to park the car, to help the grandmother to come out of the car, to walk into the supermarket, to collect the stuff they needed, to pay for the stuff, to go back to the car, to load the things into the car. So these people have been lying from day one. At 6.30, allegedly, they called uh, they called law enforcement and they said that someone is missing. So an uh, endangerment alert was put out. The next day, uh, David Dodson, the guy from the church, who came said that the boys told him that the basement door was locked, which is really important. We heard from Jose, God bless himself, uh, soul, that he he said that the basement door was always locked. We've heard that from Alison too, Hunter's mother. 
We were there from each and every one that their door used to remain locked. This couldn't have allegedly been an abduction because we would have seen more signs of it. Don Wells explained the dog trail, which did not make sense unless he was the one who came to the dog trail, allegedly, and picked up Summer. Uh, there's a lot of timelines that does not make sense. Nobody seems to remember the time. Um, the minute Don came in the first interview and he said, I will meet Summer in the resurrection, that gave me a bad feeling. It looked like he already gave up on his daughter. So I'm sure something happened and they are aware of it. And they got rid of Summer, God forbid. And that this is all just a false statement to the uh, law enforcement. The next day, we saw clearly that law enforcement got the Tennessee Borough of Investigations involved. The Tennessee Borough of Investigations work with foul play, human trafficking, gang-related crimes, gang-organized crimes. And I believe that is one of the reasons that I, in this case, they came in and they put up a they put up a amber alert immediately. They raised the endangerment alert to an amber alert. A red vehicle was then said to have been seen around the 14th or 15th of June around the areas. We've heard that Jody Sue Brown, his mother or father, allegedly drives a red Toyota Tacoma with a ladder and we're not sure, so that I'd say just straight out that it's allegedly. There's been many things in this case that many people, many so-called suspects allegedly that are involved, according to me and according to many people. We have Jody Sue Brown and our son who said that they heard, they said that they heard a, a scream, a, a scream that sounded like an animal and that was around 4.32 in the evening. And I wonder if they heard that scream, why didn't they call and check on the neighbors? Uh, Jody Sue Brown said that she went and helped to search near the creek. I believe there was a lot of... Mo, mo, sorry, there was a lot of... There was a lot of movements, basically going around the creek and around that side. So I don't know if something could have happened to Summer and that they were trying to cover up from the start. This poor little girl needs her justice. They all have been lying from the mother to the father. It's strange that the mother did not conduct an interview until the 29th of June, that is 14 days after she reported her daughter missing. On that same day, on the 29th of June, is when she called uh, WHJLR, the news channel of Tennessee, and she told uh, Ensley Daniels that she wants to be called by the name Candice Bly, and she doesn't want people to address her by Candice Wells. That leads me to believe that she must have found out that Maybe Dawn did something to Summer. Or she felt there was something that they were upset with each other about. Um, we even had this friend of Candice that she met on Facebook, that they were friends for a couple of months, Jenny. And Jenny insists that Dawn, that Candice told her that Dawn wasn't at work and that he was at home around three o'clock in the afternoon and that even he sent a text message not to say anything. So there is a lot of, there's a lot of lies and false statements in this case. But the reason I don't believe that this could be an abduction is because it's a very isolated place that the Wells live in, live on, just like David Dodson said. Uh, we've heard Jody Sue Brown saying that Andy used to sell the Wells drugs that they used to sedate their children with. 
So I wonder if an overdose could have possibly happened. Then we have Hunter, his grandmother, Sherry, saying that can uh, that Summer looked uh, no Hunter looked very destroyed, and he was very sad, and he wouldn't come out of his room, and he's never been the same since this happened. So I wonder if something happened around Hunter, because I clearly see Hunter's. Mother Allison coaching him to say that he was in the park when Chris McDonough asked him, where were you when Candace called you? And the mother looks at him and she says, the park, the park. So there's many people involved in this case and in this timeline. And it's just sad that nothing has been done about this case. The TBI and Sheriff Ronnie Lawson has asked us not to interfere in this case many times, but recently the news channel in WAJL had a news clip on that I put up that Sheriff Ronnie Lawson, his son, was charged for SEX offenses, and that is the whole sheriff in Tennessee, so that is really disturbing and concerning. He was supposed to have gone to jail for, he would have been charged for 20 years, but he got away by getting just one year. Things that are in this case that doesn't make sense at all. The boys have been put on a gag order the case and on the 